After breakfast, it was time to tackle the rough, narrow Archer River crossing. Jim selects low gear and lets the Kenworth T650 idle over the ruts, holes and boulders. It's slow going, but the Kenworth gets through no worries. Not far up the track, Jim pulls off the road to make his last delivery before Weeper at Maluna Station on the Watson River. It's a quick stop and before long Jim's back on the track. When the breeze is right, it blows the dust away to the left, which makes it easy for other vehicles to pass. And there's one last creek crossing to get through. The road into Weeper crosses the main haul road of the Rio Tinto bauxite mine, where massive 200 ton dump trucks trundle by with their loads to the port. Jim approaches the haul road crossing with caution and slows the road train to a crawl and gets across just as another dump truck approaches. Once again, Jim pulls over to empty the dust from the wheels before entering town. Weeper is purely a mining town, and like all mining towns in remote Australia, commands exorbitantly high prices for even the most basic items. Tourism in the area just hasn't taken off with any great success, apart, that is, from die-hard four-wheel drive enthusiasts wishing to conquer one of Australia's last frontiers. And then it was around the corner past the massive ship's loading bauxite to the depot. It didn't take Jim long to unhook the road train and the crew in the depot began unloading the trailers. There's one of those concrete blocks that Jim uses in the front of the van to give the Kenworth extra traction. Remember that turntable Jim emptied the cartridge of grease onto back at Mount Malloy yesterday morning? Well, here it is after 800 kilometres on one of the roughest tracks around. After all the unloading was done, Jim grabbed a well-earned beer and rolled a smoke, and we asked him what owner Darcy Bauer thought of the Kenworth T650. I reckon Kenworth owed me a favour because, <laughs> because I talked him into this one. I think he's going to be going to get another four out of him at least. Yeah, he'd never had a Kenworth before. Kenworth a hell of a lot easier to work on. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he likes it because it goes up and back and he hadn't done that to do anything to it. And that's where we have to leave Jim and his tough Kenworth T650. In the morning, he'll load fresh fish for the markets back in Cairns.